Yes, the great Messiah presence is among us now. The Messiah is the ultimate state of being, thus the divine awareness is always infinitely existing in this present moment. Watch on for the multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet. Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 10. Interview with Angelix, the Crystal Child, channeling the spirit of Nostradamus. Greetings, esteemed viewers. I am Baul in Brooklyn, New York, USA. The brave people of the United States of America admire your beautiful smile and ever positive attitude. As you may know from our past episodes, Nostradamus is famous for writing Le Prophecie a collection of 942 poetic quatrains predicting future events. Today, we are delighted to interview Angelix, the Crystal Child, as she speaks of her unique abilities to decipher Nostradamus predictions. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. Master once said that Nostradamus was not a normal clairvoyant and that he had reached the level of Arahat, great saint, with exceptional clairvoyant powers. Angelix, the crystal child, at age 13 became aware of her innate capacity to communicate with animals and to perceive life at a soul level by seeing through energy. This prompted her to embrace veganism and help fellow human beings understand and turn to the peaceful, compassionate way of living. Greetings all. My artist's name is Angelix. The name channeled through me during a meditation a couple of years ago. I'm able to communicate with just about anything as we all are. We were all born extrasensory beings, and we were all able to feel vibration as well as emotion, which is energy in motion. When we realize our divine connection, then it is impossible to disconnect from the animal's existence and consume dead energy and suffering, as we are no longer a vibrational match to that experience. Animals are on their own unique journey of evolution. More and more humans are realizing it is unnecessary to cause other beings to suffer and restrict them from living their full joyous experience in their own lives. Veganism overall is the most ideal lifestyle to live in terms of taking care of our environment and respecting life itself. Was Nostradamus vegetarian or vegan? Yes, I am and so is Nostradamus. I am vegan. We need to have respect and compassion for all beings to create a world of love, peace and unity. Angelic's extraordinary abilities include interpreting anything about the past, present, or future telepathically. 
Throughout my lifetime experience and current state of awareness, I'm able to interpret an overview of Nostradamus' insight. Let's now listen to Angelic's reading and explaining one of Nostradamus' quatrains. Long awaited, one will never return. He will appear in Asia, but be at home in Europe. One who is issued from great Hermes, and over all the kings of East, will he grow. Nostradamus is expanding upon his prediction of Christ consciousness, an ascended master of sorts that embodies the awareness and love of Christ to incarnate as a human sometime soon. Initially, the revolution of Jesus and the kings of the East were him spreading his wisdom of the Holy Spirit throughout Western civilization, such as Europe. We will now see the contrast of that being spread throughout the Eastern world, such as Asia, where this being will birth into form. Great Hermes is the Greek god of metaphysical wisdom associated with the Egyptian god Thoth, and he's saying one who is issued from Great Hermes as a metaphor. As this human being comes into form, he will be awakening others through sharing metaphysical spiritual wisdom in the East. World-renowned humanitarian, artist, and spiritual master, Supreme Master Ching Hai was born in the Asian country of Ola, also known as Vietnam, where she spent her youth. During a recent teleconference with Supreme Master TV staff, Master recounted a childhood memory, revealing her destiny. Uh, when I was eight years old, I read one of the newspapers somewhere, yeah, or, or a book. I can't remember. Is a book or is it a, or is a newspaper? It's a long time. Um, I, I did not think much about it. That's why it says something like, uh, um, a being will be born in Asia. We appear in Asia. And that being is a child now, eight years old. Wow. And that being, that child is going to save the world. So I say, it's me. Oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> is he in Nostradamus Quatrain the great messiah or savior of the world? What else can Nostradamus tell us about him? And how do we recognize such a person? He could be seen as an archetypal figure, as a savior. However, this being that embodies Christ awareness is here to remind and awaken us all that we are the saviors of ourselves and we are all divine. Remember, dear, you are divine. Remember God, remember God. Good night, baby. Have wonderful dream. Heaven loves you, and I love you. I'm going to remind you that you are the master. That's all there is. And the karma and all that will go away as soon as you realize that you are the master of the universe, that you are one with God. But before that, if you have not uh, completely realized this, of course, i be your friend and help you until you understand everything. Just follow the instruction so that every day you can uh, contemplate deeply inside and then find God. And then one day you will completely understand. The Master is the invisible power within all of us, and which, uh, which is belong to the universal power and we all have the right to to claim to claim the whole or part of it depends on how much we want depends on how sincere we are in order to reclaim this glory for us 
if you are sincere and really want the whole, then you get the whole, and then you become so much faster. He'll recognize his frequency. He'll embody a purity of unconditional love, and his wisdom will intuitively feel as if it's channeling through him as an ascended master here to assist and awaken humanity. It will be a clear cognizant knowing and recognition. She has a, a wonderful energy, a, a lovely aura, and the way she speaks so softly, her message really hits home, and you feel that she's concerned. And she gives good percentage or uh, researches uh, about the region that she's talking about. So that made a lot of sense. Her message was really wonderful that we can save the planet by such a simple choice as changing our diet. She's a very impressive lady. I am a Muslim, but I felt that uh, she's bringing in uh, ideas from Buddhism, from Hinduism, from Christianity, Judaism, and provide a common platform with some of her ideas. She's trying to make the world a better place for everybody, and I think that's the way human beings should progress with life. I had the privilege to, to share a huge with, with her. My message to her is, I felt you. I, I really felt your, your soul. And you're really special. Thank you. Thank you for touching so many souls and for sharing what you share. <laughs> Thank you. And for teaching. It has been just great. Her presence is beautiful and her warmth is, uh, is deeply felt. And I just, I marvel at her devotion and her spirit. It transmits an energy very positive because it shows that she has a very good vibe. Thank you, Supermaster. Your way of being, your way of radiating love, unconditional love, your giving respect to everybody, and above all, your acceptance that you that you hugged everybody, you hold each other's hand, and that has uh, have touched me very much. Ella está sirviendo a todos los seres humanos, está sirviendo al planeta para salvarlo, para rescatarlo. Tiene un corazón noble, pero también un gran liderazgo. Sé que van a suceder las cosas que tienen que suceder. She's a beautiful, beautiful soul. She's a beautiful person, kind, noble. I just feel the power of her spirit. I, I met uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai for the first time today. When you see everything around, you can see the power and the genius. But to meet her, you see the spirit and the love and uh, the amazing things when you watch her. It's quite um, awe-inspiring because it seems as though you're kind of like in the presence of God in a way that you haven't been. Stay with us as we further explore Nostradamus' predictions with Angelics right after these messages. Welcome back to our program. We asked Angelix the question, is the great Messiah among us now? Yes, the great Messiah presence is among us now. 
The Messiah is the ultimate state of being, thus the divine awareness is always infinitely existing in this present moment. The Master is not a physical body. The Master can appear anytime, anywhere, and every day, every minute by your side and help you. If you do not see the Master, at least you will feel the Master's presence, and you feel reassured of your practice and your progress. The master can appear anytime, and after initiation, the Master looks after you at every step. You may sleep, but the Master will not. You may make mistake, but the Master knows. You may be in accident, but the Master will take you out or helps you to lessen the intensity of the accident. You may be in sickness, but you don't feel that much pain because the Master will help you to soothe some of your suffering. That is the duty of a real Master. And the Master does all kinds of things to help you. That's what's good about having a Master. The Master is everywhere, anytime, and have you in any circumstance without being physically near to the Master. Our beloved Master is always helping us, whether we are aware of it or not. The following are examples of our association members' experiences of Master's infinite presence. I remember in 1997, 就痛晕了过去我爸爸看大叔好像就说丢啦丢啦就吓到我有看到师父 her daughter, the nine years old, so one day Master coming out of the SMTV, and then play with the I met you when I, uh, in session 19, uh, 19, and then uh, 2002, I saw the picture. I said, oh, he is my master. The master that helped me from 1976. You 1976. Yeah, you <laughs> I was already not even out in the war yet, huh? Yeah, you I took was me somewhere to, else, yes. Um, at that time, when I was going up to the tree and fell down, the body that died, but the soul, you took me to see a lot of planet. Yes. And so beautiful. So uh, my, uh, my parents took me, the body, to the hospital. I stayed there and doctors told my family, you don't worry, he's still alive, but I don't know why he didn't wake up. And when I came back, it's no cut, I asked my mom, oh, where the mommy? Uh, she sat in you in the hospital three days. Mm. And I said, oh, really? Uh, I 
I went with uh, one lady so beautiful and powerful. It's all light. Mm -hmm. But in the Vietnam, and, uh, they said uh, my father, sister died young. Mm -hmm. And they said maybe sister uh, uh -huh. have, didn't have any answer until the 2002 I saw you, your picture. I said, oh, here, this is, this is the, the, the master mm -hmm. to took me up there that time. Yeah. You helped me a lot. You took me so many times to go up to heaven, yeah. so many planets, so in Nevo. Yeah. And, and I, I very, very, very thank you very, very it's much. Okay. And I want to tell you that while I was being operated and after, I, w I felt your love so much and you just surrounded me and I saw you all the time. <laughs> and thank you so much for all your grace and blessings and your patience for me. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, I was worried about you, but I thought you'd be okay. Tough girl, you know, inside. <laughs> yes. And I, was, always I was very happy because you were always with me and I could see you and I could feel you all oh, the time. Wonderful. There's a price to pay, huh? Yes. <laughs> no, it wasn't a price, but, you know, if if the master power is not with you in such a situation, then it could be worse, you know. It's not like a price to pay, you know, the negative power, you know. We have to surround you with positive, make you feel good, so you can fight back, see? Yes. It's the time you need more. <laughs> That's why you can see more than normal. You don't see anything. <laughs> it's not like you have to pay for that. It's not that. Okay, love? Yes, thank uh, you. Wonderful. Nice to see you. Nostradamus had also written about the Age of Gold. Born in the shadows and during a dark day, he will be sovereign in realm and goodness. Supreme Master Ching Hai was born in a remote mountainous area during wartime, but has become renowned throughout the world by her spiritual teachings and virtuous deeds. I think I read in one of your book, one of your lectures that you mentioned The Ocean of Love by Kabir, the Anurag Saga. It's about um, the highest god, they call it Sad Purush, ah, yes, Sad comes Purush. to different incarnations in each yuga. Yes, yes. And the last Kali Yuga is where he makes a deal with Kal to take a lot of souls yes, yes. back home. Yes, this is the Kali Yuga, yeah. as a dark age. Need the strong guy to come down, take everybody up. Yeah. Is that why so many souls can be liberated? Yes, yes, yes. That is right. You know it already. He will cause his blood to rise again in the ancient urn, renewing the age of gold for that of brass. Nostradamus was expanding on the ultimate Christ, Buddha, God within, realizing itself. We've all been experiencing the darkness and the shadows we've been creating as a collective experience, which is a mirror of our unconscious integration. This being, which is a representation of our next stage in collective evolution that's being referred to as He, He'll have the urge to rise again in a tribal and ancient way, where we lived according to our connection to divine will, which thus renews the age of gold and moves us all into the golden age. When will the age of gold be? And how do we know that it is the golden age? The age of gold will occur in divine timing whenever we create it to be so. We know that it is the golden age when we realize that we were all divine creators and we can choose to live according to seeing everyone around us as a divine creator. We had to turn back to our caring and compassionate nature inside our heart. That's very simple. We are that. We are compassion. We are merciful. We are caring. So we just have been cheated. We have been misinformed up to now. So we did not know it. Being vegan worldwide is the advancement 
of compassion that will uplift and unify all cultures, bringing tranquility to humans and animals alike. The inner peace that comes from replacing killing with respect for all life will spread like a wave across the globe, elevate human hearts, and create a harmonious Eden on earth. That will bring us all to a lasting golden era. Together, let us make the unprecedented leap to the golden era, to the time of compassion, harmony, kindness, and true peace that awaits us. did Nostradamus intend to accomplish by writing down all of his predictions? Nostradamus's intention was to cause humanity to reflect upon our inner ways of being. It was to make us more conscious of this experience so we can potentially rewrite the script of the movie, of this life movie, to create the most desirable experience of reality for ourselves. May we all heed the prophetic words of Nostradamus and come together in universal love to heal the world and ourselves by turning our focus within, being vegan, and living joyful, peaceful lives in harmony with nature. We thank Angelix for sharing her special insights with us today. And thank you, our viewers, for tuning in to Supreme Master Television and joining us today. Don't miss the next part of our series as we explore more fascinating ancient predictions. Coming up next is the heroic master, Huin Fu So, the Healing Buddha, part one of two, right after noteworthy news. May you always be encompassed in divine love. For more details on the prophecies of Nostradamus, please visit sacred-texts.com forward slash nos forward slash index dot htm. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash ap.